Hello Salem, I'm your mayor Chuck Bennett here with another video message. This time to share information about good things happening in our community. This week I'm pleased to share information about the statewide COVID-19 rent relief program. Oregon's Housing and Community Services has allocated about $8.5 million to support individuals and families who have experienced loss of income or at risk of homelessness during these challenging times. The funding's to be dispersed through regional community action agencies, which will make the payments to landlords on behalf of the applicant. In Salem, if you need this type of assistance, your point of contact will be the Mid Willamette Valley Community Action Agency. They can help you with the application process and tell you the documentation you'll need to provide them. And don't forget, the City of Salem website has information about other available resources. And on the topic of housing assistance, I'm really delighted to have Salem Housing Authority Administrator Nicole Utes to tell us about their response to the pandemic. Well, Nicole, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, having some time with you, I think, is uh, really important. People are watching housing, low-income housing, the homeless. Uh, how, how are you doing it at the Housing Authority? Good morning. So at the Housing Authority, we actually took a four-phased approach. We were watching uh, all of this information come on the news and emergency operations, and we have a disaster preparedness team that we had put in place uh, in preparation for earthquakes. Ah. And so we actually instigated that team mm. immediately, and we took a phased approach to the point where we are currently closed to the public for walk-ins. Mm -hmm but currently we are serving all of our clients, all of our properties, and all of our staff is working very hard as a team to ensure all of our, the, the safety of our, our properties, our clients are being taken care of, rent adjustments are being made, landlords are still getting paid, and it's, it's been a, a challenge, but yet we've worked it out as a team, and the team has really great morale, and our priority is definitely service, and our clients and customer service. How many cases of COVID-19 have appeared in your uh, often low income, uh, in the case of Robert Lindsay Tower, senior citizens uh, living in a, a congregate setting? How, how many cases have you had? The Housing Authority has no presumed or confirmed cases. What did you do right? What? There's was, a lot to learn here from what you've done. It was very important from the, the start of this that we educated the clients to ensure their safety, our staff safety. In our phased approach, we started ramping down the walk-in traffic into the office. Okay. Uh, we're, our office is also right next door to a 62 and older apartment complex right. with 62 seniors in it with a vulnerable population. So their safety was paramount as well. We just ensured that clients had COVID-19 fact sheets from CDC. We handed right. out every senior that lives in our complexes uh, fa face masks with uh, food delivery boxes and worked as a team to ensure that no one was left behind. If they needed toilet paper, we, we ensured that toilet paper was delivered. If they needed medicine, we made sure medicine was picked up and delivered. If somebody couldn't get out uh, due to their circumstances, we made sure that they had what they need to keep going. How many clients do you have? There's a total of 8,000 with all the voucher holders. I hope everyone is listening to what you all accomplish. You serve 8,000 residents in this community, not one COVID case so far. We'll knock on wood and anything else we can knock on. Uh, can you explain how you've been stepping up to meet the needs of these sort of different populations? You mentioned some of the direct, sir. Are there some additional services you're doing with this population? Sure. So we've done a lot of communication through our Facebook page, um, which is also located on our website. We've continued to keep our website up to date all the time. We sent out uh, information to all of our clients on how to reach us that we're still there, we're just behind the scenes, yeah. that nothing's getting left behind, that all of our staff is still working. A lot of it came down to good communication. 
Our mechanics are out there working every day to keep the properties in safe working, decent safe and working order at all the time to ensure the safety of our clients is number one. One of the programs you know I care a great deal about is the uh, housing uh, rental assistance program. Can you give just a real quick idea of what that is? So the homeless rental assistance program is still going strong. We have three wonderful team members that continue to go out there and serve, check on clients at a safe social distance with masks, ensure that their clients are being taken care of. We've made seven, places, seven placements of homeless individuals into housing during the pandemic. Great. So additional placements are still occurring. It's, a, it's definitely more of a challenge. Right. Uh, we do supply furniture so we had to work it out with a furniture company for deliveries because obviously they're not able to remain open and these are people who are long-term homeless generally yes uh they've been homeless at, for what what's the minimum amount of time generally you serve in this program typically it's over five years right? and they ha they have addition usually an additional issue two or three uh, what would be the kinds of issues you would be dealing with then in addition to long-term homelessness? Typically, our homeless rental assistance program is serving those individuals that are considered tri-morbid, meaning they have a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, some sort of disability, and they've been chronically homeless for anywhere from three to, we've heard cases of 10, and longer years. How many how many folks have you housed in this program? I believe we're up in the 280 mark at this time. How many have graduated and are now into more stable housing programs? I believe there's about half of our that 280 has already graduated and moved on to the Section 8 voucher program. It's definitely a team collaboration with many of our other social service providers in Salem. Uh, keeping in good communication, keeping in good contact, ensuring that we're meeting the needs of the clients and encouraging them along the way. Well, great. Well, thank you, Nicole, so much for the work you, your staff are doing and for the tremendous success you're having in the midst of this uh, uh, really major health crisis, having your entire clientele still healthy and moving along is, is a real testament to the work you all are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for stopping by.